Hi, my name is Jay and I'm a collector from Sydney, Australia. My collection includes a variety of things from action figures, TV and movie memorabilia, but most of all, my favourite thing is my collection of Tonner dolls. I had the privilege of meeting Robert Tonner in 1999 when he was showcasing his new doll, Tyler Wentworth, at a jean convention, and I've never looked back since then. Apart from the amazing materials that are produced for his dolls to wear, I love the variety, the variety of lines that are produced as part of the Tonner Doll Company. You have a glamorous girl next door with a retro feel to all her fashions. You can have a great aunt who produces stunning vintage fashions, a pinup, a girl who lives in the attic, a plus size model, a girl who's discovered when she's starting to become a doctor and becomes an international model, steampunk stories, a girl in San Francisco, and even a space peak. Glamorous space peak, though. When I was asked to choose some of my favorite toners, I don't think there's enough time <laughs> to cover them all. So here's just a small idea of a few of the lines that I've enjoyed. I hope you do too. This is one of my favorite versions of Tyler. Called Perfect 10. She was released on Tyler's 10th anniversary year. She's an amazing doll and definitely a perfect 10. This is Julia, a doll designed by Robert Tonner and produced for Georgetown. She was released in the late 1990s, before Tyler. She came with her own romance novel and series of outfits to match events in the novel. I love it when artists collaborate. Here is a doll designed by Helen Kish, who sculpted the face and face paint. And she's put on a Tyler size body. The bonus that came with this doll was the companion piece to this doll was a gorgeous sculpture of Helen Kish herself called The Artist. An original sculpt and accessories included gorgeous necklace and matching earrings. I think it's great to see a representation of the artist and her work together. This is Andy Mills character in the Cammy and John line. He's an event planner and the first LGBT fashion doll to be produced in a line. Representation matters.
keeping with the Cinderella theme, The Stroke of Midnight Sydney. Beautiful blue jewellery to match her eyes. But what is exceptional about this doll is the stunning basket weave hairstyle. This is one of my favourite Tana Centerpiece sets. Yes, they're in my favourite colour. But besides that, the detail is amazing. Cinderella and her prince wear matching colours. And Cinderella has an intricate hairstyle with a little crown. Not to be outdone, Euphemia has a high hairstyle with hidden plait, jewellery and gold trims for her gorgeous gown. Thanks to Robert Tonner, you too can bring Hollywood home and have an array of characters from movies and TV in the comfort of your lounge room. From superheroes to girls who fall down rabbit holes, companions of space doctors, Explorers of other lands or aliens. You can go wherever your imagination takes you. My favourite character from the Tyler line is Esme, Tyler's friend and one of the first Chase models. Bronze Siren Esme sparkles in a stunning gown with beading up the edges of her gloves throughout the gown. With the added drama of a stole going down her back. Esme borrows Envy and 24 Carat from Sydney and sparkles in them. My next favourite is purple. Although I know purple isn't exclusively a Tonner thing, but there have been some amazing outfits produced for the girls in purple. Lizette's vintage confusion. Elowen looks mesmerising with those purple eyes. And lastly, Prudence in Possibly Clairvoyant. Check out those boots.
Here we have some Disney magic, or as I like to call it, Battle of the Ball Gowns. There's a very little space on this table with all the dresses. Tonna's version of Belle, Ariel, Cinderella, and Tiana are simply stunning. Each in their glamorous gowns, sparkling from head to toe. Each of their faces beautifully captured. Uniquely Tonna, but still having the Disney essence and Disney magic. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my favourite things. There's so much more planned as part of Tonna Fest and the Virtual Doll Convention series. And I hope to see you there. Bye now.